Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Diane Parker. A beautiful day across the state. Miller has the forecast and the Spartan race hits western Montana soon. You still have time to register those stories in a minute. But first. The Flathead County Sheriff's Office has released the name of the victim in the April 16th fatal shooting in the Snow Slip Inn near Essex. The sheriff says 36-year-old Jeremy McKenzie died of gunshot wounds after an altercation at the motel. Deputies arrived to find several people on scene attempting to provide medical aid to McKenzie. The sheriff says detectives are still conducting witness interviews and there is no threat to the public as the investigation continues. Search efforts are beginning again soon once snow melts for a missing reported man near Summers last November. 40-year-old Timothy Curtis Elston of Kalispell is believed to be missing in the Kramer Creek and Patrick Creek area. His vehicle was found abandoned in the early November, but the search for him was suspended due to dangerous weather conditions. Anyone with information is asked to email tips via flathead.mt.gov. And today, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in Germany building support among U.S. allies for further military assistance for Ukraine. It comes as Ukrainian officials say five train stations were hit by Russian airstrikes not long after Austin left the country. Meanwhile, Russia's top diplomat warned Ukraine against provoking World War III and said the threat of a nuclear conflict should not be underestimated. A New York judge has ordered former President Donald Trump to pay a $10,000 a day fine after declaring him in contempt of court. The judge said Trump failed to produce documents in a civil lawsuit brought by the state's attorney general. Attorneys for the former president said they would appeal the ruling. And back in Billings, a new marijuana law is on the books. City Council is lowering the age limit to work at a dispensary from 21 to 18. This after a local dispensary sued the city demanding the change. The updated rule brings Billings in line with state law. According to the governor's office, Montana's economy grew and inflation adjusted 6.7% in 2021, the seventh largest rate of growth in the country. It also marks the sharpest growth rate in Montana in more than 40 years. Officials say Montana's personal income also grew by 8.5% in 2021, the fastest increase in 15 years. Elon Musk is the new owner of Twitter. The social media company is accepting an unsolicited $44 billion takeover bid from the Tesla and SpaceX CEO. Musk has said he intends to take Twitter private, a move that would subject the company to less government oversight. He says he wants to turn the website into a free speech haven. Well, instead of sharing memes, the Montana State Library is asking you to get creative and make them. The library's historical meme making contest is back again this year. It's open to anyone ages 10 and up. And here's how it works. You choose a photo from the Montana Memory Project, put it in your favorite meme generator, add text and save it. Then submit by emailing your entry by Friday, May 13th. Library staff will choose finalists and the public will vote on the winners. There are prizes, including Charlie Russell Prince. And that's today's Leading Look. Well, you made it through Monday, the hardest day of the week. Rest of the week going to be gravy. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hopefully treating you good so far. Seeing those clouds building up from west to east. Some of us, though, with that downslope flow, this is really going to be a warm day. You can see we're trying to get some upper 60s, maybe even some 70s in spots. But there are going to be some spots where we have this little short wave of energy coming through and giving us some rain where we may not get out of the 50s. 57 in Missoula. 51 in Kalispell, but look at that up at Haver along the High Line trying to get up to 73 today, 68 in Billings, 64 in Mile City, down in northern parts of Wyoming, 60s and maybe even some 70s. So we do have a little blast of energy coming through tomorrow, several pieces of uh, energy over the next few days, giving us a chance of a lot of moisture. We'll have details coming up. Montana Tech has a new simulation lab that's about to open up to help nursing students become prepared for the future. How you doing there, buddy? I'm doing all right. Cool. Hang in there. We'll get you a new wig. The Lassar Family Nursing Simulation Lab has students and staff at the Butte University more than just a little excited. Oh, my God. 
Love it. Uh, we just have been um, elated about how the center has turned out. The new lab was paid in part through a donation last year from the Lassar family who gave seven million dollars to Montana Tech. The lab is set up like a hospital ward and equipped with high-tech mannequins that students can apply techniques on that they've learned in the classroom. We're really seeing our students leave here with more confidence and ready to hit the floor when they go out into their clinical experiences. I'm talking with Lucina. She is very realistic. She's breathing. She has a heartbeat. Let me see. I'm really nervous. Well, <laughs> if you knew my qualifications, you'd be a lot more nervous. Uh, they can talk, they have lung sounds, heart sounds, um, we can give them medications. With about 300 students, Tech's nursing program is one of the largest in the university. And this is a good thing because there is high demand for nurses. We've had some classes, sometimes they have two or three job offers when they're walking across the stage for graduation. So uh, they're in high demand. The lab is expected to open in May. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Up next, Miller is in with another check of today's weather. Plus, you don't want to miss these epic snow pictures from eastern Montana. The MTN New News continues right after this.